Okay guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Johnny the Food Junkie. Hi, how's it going? Nice to meet you. And you know what time it is. We are just about to start another casual cheat day. And I am pumped as I always am. It is currently 8.38, uh, May 11th, not April anymore. <laughs> Anyways, there's not, as you guys already know, where I'm to, there's not really that many places to go get breakfast that you don't have to go and sit down and just shitty light, bad lighting and super loud. So anyway. I'm back again now at Tim Hortons, and I got something different today compared to what I got last time, which was like just like all donuts and uh, I don't know, it was a muffin, a muffin and like a pocket or something. So, anyways, today I got like pretty well all new items, pretty much. So I went ahead and I got this large Oreo ice cap, which is amazing. I have I've tried it, and it's it's truly truly amazing. Like basically an ice cap with Oreo bits blended up into it with Oreo bits on top. Truly, truly amazing. And the thing about it is, I, I, I like forgot about ice caps for some reason. Like I used to always get ice caps when I was younger. And for some reason just forgot about them. And I went in there that time. And like, I, I always wondering, like I always used to get water or something. But then I was like, oh, maybe I'll start getting ice coffee. And I was like, wait a minute, why don't I get an ice cap? Because I used to always get them and they're so good. Anyway, here at Tim Hortons, I like the, the biscuits better than the English muffins. So that's what I got here now. They got a deal on for like two biscuits for five bucks. That's pretty good. So I went ahead and I got the sausage and bacon biscuit. So basically it's just egg or uh, yeah, egg, cheese, bacon, sausage, and biscuit. I don't know, I just like the texture of the biscuit a lot better than the muffin, than the English muffin. And of course, I got two hash browns on the side. The only thing is about this ice cap, it's like, it seems like it's a little bit extra chocolatey. Sorry about that, I had to turn off my fan, it's probably gonna be super loud in this, so I apologize. But yeah, it's just like a bit extra chocolatey because well, I guess the Oreo bitch. And I don't know why, but chocolate stuff makes me thirsty, so I'm not really, my thirst is not being quenched here. I need like a water, a water or something. Oh yeah, guys, before I forget, like I said in my last video, I'm gonna start mentioning this in all my videos now. I'm trying to grow my Instagram page as well as my YouTube, obviously, so if you guys wanna give me a follow, it's at Johnny the Food Junkie, and it's basically just daily food porn, and like obviously like my, every time I release a video, it's, it's gonna be announced on that as well, and yeah, so I'm just trying to grow that, so uh, give me a follow, appreciate it very much, thank you. Well, you know I had to go ahead and get another Oreo donut, because I mean, like, I'm, I'll pretty well want to get this like at least once a week now till it's gone because it's only here for a limited time and I, uh, I loves it. So here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You might think that like, you know, I'm not a chocolate lover. So how do I like this? Well, I don't know. Cause like this hair is just for some reason not chocolatey and like all you see is chocolate pretty much, but it's just not chocolatey. I guess the stuff, the white cream in the middle, like offsets it or something. Oh my god, so good. Alright, next we're gonna go ahead and eat the other biscuit. This one seems a little bit more heftier. I will say though, these are good, but as of right now, I think my favorite breakfast sandwich still, like little small thing like this, is like over at Robin's, barbecue sauce, oh my god, steak, steak and egg, or steak and cheese and egg or something, and barbecue sauce, oh, anyway, soon time to go back there too. Alright, the biscuit didn't last long, so now I'm gonna demolish this little hash brown here. Next, we got... What do you guys think? What do you guys think? What do you guys think is next? Another Oreo donut. Because Oreo donuts are life. Mm. Jamie, if you're watching this, I don't know how you don't really like these. Or I don't know how you. What did you say about them? You said something about like they weren't as good as you expected. Not sure what you mean by that. These are amazing. All right, guys, so last but not least for this meal, I went ahead and I got this fruit explosion muffin, which is also amazing. I haven't had one of these now in a long time, but they were, they are my favorite muffin at Tim Hortons. It's just a delicious muffin, I mean, really, fruit, and then like just a bunch of like jam in the middle or something. Mmm. Mmm. 
blueberries and not even really sure what the other fruit is just amazing so i know the jam in the middle is what does it oh man or that red strawberry sauce or whatever it is Well, all right, guys, that wraps up meal number one. I am content right now. That hit the spot. I woke up really hungry this morning, so I really enjoyed this meal. I was looking forward to that Oreo donut all week. Something different. I mean, I might not have very many different places around here, but I, I can definitely order something different at each spot every time, regardless. So, And also, if you guys have, have any other breakfast suggestions for places to go, comment down below. And other than that, I'll see you guys very soon. Yes, can I get a Carolina barbecue Mighty Angus combo, please? Uh, Coke Zero. Can I get that um, upsized, please? And 10 nuggets on the side as well. Thank you. Okay, guys, just getting back from meal number two. Finally, it's 319, same day, May 11th. I got another busy day ahead of me, as always. Um, I'm a little bit behind on, like, this meal. I kind of wanted to have it probably before this, like, you know, like I normally do. But anyway, I just got a fresh haircut now, and I'm ready to eat meal number two. I'm uh, kind of in the area of McDonald's here, so I decided to just get McDonald's. I haven't had McDonald's now. Uh, well, I had McDonald's in a few few cheat days ago. It was just like uh, breakfast or whatever, so I never had this now in a while. Not a while, but I don't know, maybe four to six weeks, and that's a while for me. So anyway, I decided to, uh, since I was in the area and I just, I'm running out of time, I gotta be home like within like 40 minutes. So, you know, really I gotta be home in a half hour to get a shower and I gotta go do a christening or something. So I just said I'd get, I'll just get McDonald's, it's close and why not, it's good. I, you know, it's cheat day and anyway, here it is, the Carolina barbecue Mighty Angus burger. Anyway, I really like this burger cause like the sauce that's on it, it's like a sweet barbecue sauce and like the dried onions, just so good. Here we go. And also went with 10 nuggets because uh, McDonald's nuggets are life and it's been a while, so why not? Mm. So yeah, hands down, I gotta say, this is definitely my favorite burger from McDonald's here recently, since they came out with this. Uh, comment down below and tell me what your favorite burger is. And then, of course, I usually always wanna get nuggets every time I get this because nuggets, fries, and burger just goes together. Well, why not? Oh, McDonald's fries? You cannot beat McDonald's fries. Just can't be beat. I have yet to have better fries. Where else has better fries than McDonald's? I mean, comment down below and let me know because I, I can't think of one right now. All right. Here we have the classic epic chicken nugget dip. Mmm. Although I ate 119 of these nuggets, you would think I'd probably never eat them again, but I mean, honestly, they're just really good. I mean, they're on, they're, they're wicked. They're, they're, they're awesome nuggets. I mean, I don't care if you don't agree with me, but they are the best nuggets. Like, uh, they're probably one of my favorite fast food nuggets, and that's the end of it. I mean, after I ate 119, yes, I had to take a little break, but like, I'm, I'm best gone now, best gone. Well, all the fries are gone, and I only got five nuggets left. Well, all right, guys, that wraps up meal number two. Wasn't anything new, really. I mean, I've had this many, many times before on the channel, but I haven't had it in a while. And like I said, I'm running out of fast food places to go around here, so I'm gonna have to try incorporating new plate, new places, but order takeout and eat it in the car, because it's just, I find it hard to get good footage inside a restaurant. It's just like bad lighting, super loud, and not nearly as good as it is in the car or back at the house, so anyway. Moving forward, I'm gonna have to do that. But yeah, comment down below if you have any suggestions and anything you'd like to see me do differently. But yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next meal very soon. All right guys, just getting back from meal number three. It is currently 7.10, same day. I'm just getting back from mom's right now. I went up there to visit her for a little bit. And uh, here in Newfoundland, we cook like, it's good, it's cooked dinner. It's just like turkey, vegetables, gravy, all that stuff. And anyway, it's called Jig's Dinner. So anyway, she had that cooked. And uh, basically what happens is if there's leftovers, yeah, she like, we just like kind of like make a bunch of different salads and uh, just have like chicken and like meat, whatever meat you got, and just have a bunch of salads and like homemade bread or toast or whatever with it, right? It's called like cold plate. So anyways, she wanted me to stay for supper and 
have that, but I couldn't because I was kind of doing a challenge and never had my camera, and so I said, well, I'll take a plate and just do that for my next meal. So, uh, yeah, here we got, uh, basically we got chicken, uh, coleslaw, potato salad, dressing, cranberry sauce, and like beet and apple salad. It's like beet, apple, and corn, and it's actually pretty good. Now, I haven't had that salad now in a long time, but I know it is really good. And of course, she also makes homemade bread, so uh, she gave me four slices of that to take home, and anyway, so I, I gotta toast it, and this stuff is, Truly, truly amazing. Anyways, without further ado, let's get this meal started. It's been a long time now since I had a cold plate, actually. Mom, when you watch this, because I know you will, <laughs> that salad is amazing. Oh my God. Mom's homemade bread. Fresh homemade bread, toasted with some butter on it. Well, just just the same as donuts, really. I mean, it's just as good. <laughs> it's it's amazing. There's nothing sweet about it, but it's just so soft, and doughy, and it just tastes amazing. You have to try for yourself. I really like this beet salad. It's just a weird combination. I mean, you wouldn't think apple, beet, and corn all mixed up together with beet juice would like taste good, but it actually does. And of course, she uh, also made cake, and I have some of that there for dessert as well. So I'm looking forward to trying that. She's always cooking and always baking. She always makes the best foods. And I always count on getting something to eat at mom's. <laughs> oh my god. It's, li it's literally falling apart. Because it's just so soft and amazing. There we go. Mm. For any local subscribers, Comment down below and tell me if you like eating cold plate too. Oh, and this stuff right here, it's actually called cranberry sauce, and basically it's just like a cranberry jello in a can. <laughs> you just like pop it out of the can and slice it up, and it's actually really good. Uh, my wife actually loves it. Yeah, here in Newfoundland, that's why we, we actually eat that with our Jake's dinner, so. Well, Alright guys, that wraps up the uh, all the salad and stuff on this plate, so I only got this little bit of toast left here now, and then onto the cake. Oh man, this is so good. It's just, it's just, just like so soft, it's just amazing. I can't, can't put into words. <sighs> onto the cake. So here we got two slices of homemade, just random vanilla cake with vanilla icing. And for my next meal, I just got back from the grocery store as well, on the way home. I picked up another bunch of random stuff for my next meal, just like little knickknacks. And uh, basically I got some vanilla ice cream, so I'm gonna get some of that and put it on this right now. Oh, this is gonna make this so much better. Home. So yeah, I just went with the regular Nestle vanilla ice cream. Now, reason being is because I'm not a chocolate guy, as you already know, I'm more of like a vanilla and like fruit, stuff like that. But um, yeah, I was gonna actually get the Ben and Jerry's, but like all their flavors that they had there was like all oh, like chocolatey, like so I was like, mm. and a tub of Ben and Jerry's is six ninety nine, and this big old tub here was on sale for two ninety nine. So I was like, yeah, like I like it better and it's cheaper, why not? So keeping it simple tonight with the vanilla ice cream. Mm. Can't go wrong with vanilla ice cream, man. Good cake, mom. Oh man, vanilla ice cream with cake is amazing. Comment down below if you agree. I think the only thing better now that would top this off would be like some kind of like, you know what, like cherry or like strawberry sauce that has like on ice creams. Oh, that poured over this now. Oh man, be next level. Last plate going down the hatch. All right, guys, that wraps up this meal. I gotta say, Mom, thank you very much. It was amazing, as it always is every time you cook anything. Uh, I absolutely love your homemade bread. It is to die for. And actually, Mom, if you're watching this, or when you watch this, I might actually get you to cook me up another uh, feed of that lasagna stuff that you make with the, the corn and all that stuff into it. It's amazing. Whoa! Anyways, guys, that wraps up this meal, and I'll see you guys in the next one very soon. Hey!
Okay, guys, just getting back from meal number four. It is currently, it is around 11 o'clock now. And as you guys already know, if you guys are from the last few cheat days, I haven't really been getting fast food or anything like that. Just been kind of going to like a grocery store or like corner store, just getting a bunch of random different little snacks. I mean, and I like it for a change, just because there's so many different things that I just, I, I, I haven't tried that I'd like to try. And I normally just won't try unless I know I like it. But anyway, yeah, so I, I just like to try new things and bringing back old things I never had in a long time here. So uh, anyways, I went to this grocery store earlier and found these bad boys right here which I cannot wait to try because Miss Vicky's are one of my favorite kinds of chips and now they have a new one, new flavor called Honey Dijon and I don't know, it sounds good, it looks good, I can't wait to try it out. Now, and these right here, I used to get these when I was a kid. I used to go into a corner store and buy $5 worth. Now at the time, I think these things were five cents each. Now they're definitely a lot more when I was young, right? But um, yeah, I used to buy $5 worth and it was just like a big old brown bag like full and um, and yeah, like I mean, uh, basically it's just marshmallows covered in like strawberry flavored sugar. <laughs> but anyways, I love them and I still do like them. And anyways, I haven't had them in a long time. So I decided to get some of those. And I'm actually a big fan of mint chocolate. And I've uh, I've never actually had the Aero mint chocolate before. I do like mint chocolate cookies and whatnot. So I said, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try that out as well. And as you guys already seen, I got some uh, ice cream earlier with the cake I had. And uh, yeah, this is what I had. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, I gotta say, it's pretty good. Can't go wrong with vanilla ice cream. And now I haven't had Sunny D in, honestly, years. Like, I don't know when the last time I had it, because I just, I don't drink anything that has sugar into it anymore, unless it's on a cheat day. Like, I just don't. I, I, like, I'll eat my calories, I'll be damned if I'm drinking them. But on a cheat day, I don't care, I'll drink it, whatever. But, um, yeah, I mean, per 250 mil, got 15 grams of carbs, 14 sugar, and this is 1.2 liters, so, yeah, it's like five servings of sugar, so there's a bit of sugar into it. But anyways, I've seen it, and I just got in the mood for it, so I uh, wanted to bring back some childhood memories. Ah, that's good. Yeah, that's really good. Honestly, I don't know where to start. Well, I'm gonna have to start with these first because I, I can't wait to try these out. Mm, man, these are amazing. Oh man, these are fire. All right, let's get in these strawberry candy, which I never had in forever. So yeah, here it is. Just a little strawberry marshmallow. Mmm. Love that first bite. <laughs> so yeah, that's the inside. Comment down below if you've had these strawberry candy before. Man, this flavor is so amazing. It's just like, I don't know, it's like sweet. It's just a sweet flavor. Honey Dijon, it kind of does taste like Honey Dijon. Um, can't really explain it, but it is really good. What an awesome flavor for chips. You wouldn't think it would be good, but it is. Man, honestly, this is good, but like I said before about other sugary drinks, <laughs> I'm drinking it and I'm just like feeling the sugar in my mouth, like against my teeth, and it's just, it's like a syrup, it's just so thick, like, I don't know, I just, honestly, I like artificial sweetener better. <laughs> Straight up. All right, let's get into this arrow bar now and see what this is all about. Mmm. It's good. It's literally, I guess, exactly what I what I would like expect it to taste like. That's pretty cool. Green bubbles, green bubblies on the inside. Mint chocolate is amazing. Like the video if you agree. In the past couple cheat days, I uh, I've been making little chip sandwiches with uh, chips and candy. So why not keep the ball rolling and try it again with this one? Mm. Well, that, that is that is actually good though. Let's make another one here now. Yeah, I kind of like just trying a bunch of new things on the on my last meal. 
It's usually always late around 11 o'clock or so and I don't know it's just I like to have kind of just have it already at the house ready to go so I don't have to leave again and I'm just trying out a bunch of stuff that I used to eat when I was a kid and like older stuff and a bunch of new stuff and it's it's kind of cool. Man I can't believe we used to <laughs> buy five dollars worth of these which was a good bit. Well what was it? I guess that'd be like 20 I guess that would be a hundred, yeah, because it'd be like five cents each. So, uh, I mean, yeah, I just eat every one of them. I think my my tongue and my teeth would just be like pink. But, like, they are pretty sickening after a while, but like, I, I actually, like, I was hoping. Oh, the worst thing about those chips is, well, it's, it's like good and bad. Like, they're super hard because they're kettle cooked, which is nice, but if you chew it the wrong way, it hurts. <sighs> yeah, I'm kind of like, over the sunny day already, honestly. I only had a little bit of it, but it's just, it's too much sugar. So, had some chips, had some candy. Now I'm gonna try a bit of this ice cream and call it a night. So yeah, this stuff is pretty basic. Just straight up vanilla ice cream, which you cannot go wrong. Comment down below if you agree. Mm. Now I know a lot of you guys are chocolate lovers, but not for me. Tell me, are you team chocolate or team vanilla? I think this is nice after it's like left out of the freezer for like five minutes at least. It just like softens up and it's just a lot easier to like scoop it out with a spoon. Oh. 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 Shit. Every time. Ah. Oh. Yeah, so uh, vanilla ice cream is awesome. Like, I mean, I do like it. I, I love it. I wouldn't buy it, but like, it's just something that I can't really eat a lot of. It's, well, I mean, I can, I guess, but like, it's just it's plain, I guess. Like, I almost need some like toppings to go up, <laughs> throw on the top there, or like some uh, strawberry sauce or something. So yeah, I got about half of it gone, or I don't know, a third or something. So yeah, I'm gonna call it right there for tonight and uh, basically just go in now and lie down with my wife, cuddle into her, and watch a movie. What better way to end the day? So yeah, all right guys, that wraps up another cheat day in the books. Once again, I had another good time as always. I love these cheat days. It's just so awesome to just, you know, you eat good all week and you know, you track, you know, you lose all your weight you gain. Sometimes you, you know, you lose a little bit more than what you were. Other times you just go back to where you were, which is fine. And then you just, you indulge. You, you just literally go all out, whatever you want. And honestly, I, it's, it's just so good for fighting cravings. I don't have, I don't have cravings in the week. Cause it's just like, it's no worries. It's coming on Saturday. Go the hell with it on Saturday. Kill it once a week. It's just such a good system. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment down below, and smash that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that bell. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.